Hello everyone and welcome back to SoCaliRific. Today we're back here at Universal Studios. Last time I came to Universal Studios, I came with my sister. Today I came with my aunt. She's usually always here with me with the updates. She doesn't really like to be on camera, but she hasn't experienced Super Nintendo World yet. So hopefully they are doing technical rehearsals and we're gonna go inside, play some games, and I wanna show her around the land. And then I'm gonna walk around and just look for some other updates here at Universal. So come along and let's go. They have the marketing team from Universal Studios Hollywood. They're doing a little filming today. Homer hanging out in front of Moe's. On the move. Oh, he's about to go get a drink. The sun is out, it is shining here. Today at Universal Studios, Super Nintendo World. It looks like this game is working today. I have yet to do this one, it looks pretty fun. But look at them go. <laughs> My favorite things to look at in Super Nintendo World is all like the motion, the animatronics. They are my favorite. I just love it. I love the vibe, the ambiance. It is just so fun here in Super Nintendo World. So right now we're gonna walk around, try some games because she hasn't done that yet. So we're gonna try to collect our keys and just have some fun. If you are curious to see what the restrooms look like, they do have this beautiful mural. I'm gonna try to show you if no one's in there. You're exiting Super Nintendo World over here. Transitioning back into Universal Studios. I mean, I know I'm still in Universal Studios, but let me tell you, it feels like you are in a different world, Super Nintendo World. So for lunch, we stopped at Toadstool Cafe, um, yet again, because she didn't try it last time, so we wanted to try it. She got the Mario Mushroom Burger, and again, I just appreciate like how they decorate their foods. Like you got the Mushroom Burger with the Mario mustache on top and the little hat. And this time I just went with the kids cheeseburger. The cheeseburger is good, it's very plain. So if you want like a good substantial tasting burger, the Mario burger is better. But for a little cheeseburger for kids, it was good. Oh, and I forgot to mention in the kids meal, it comes with like a little dessert, a little coin cookie. And you don't know which one you're getting. You're either getting um, chocolate or vanilla. So that also comes with the kids meal. So that's cool. You got your burger, your veggies, and a little dessert. Also ordered the tiramisu, and I gotta say, that was so delicious. It had like a coffee punch to it. It was so good, like moussey. I do recommend that dessert. That's the only dessert that I have tried so far, but that was so delicious. So definitely try the tiramisu. And it also had like little question blocks, and the question blocks are cookies, and it tastes like shortbread cookies. So those are good as well. All right, it looks like Jurassic World is going under refurbishment. Once again, they have drained the ride, as you can see, and it will be opening up February 9th. They're getting ready for promotion for Super Mario Brothers. Look at these little posters. We'll go look at the other ones, too. All right, we got Donkey Kong over here. Hopefully one day he actually gets his land here in the park. We got Bowser on this side. We have Mario over here. The posters are actually pretty cool. And let's go look at Luigi's. And we have Luigi. Imagine during Halloween Horror Nights, like Super Nintendo World gets like a Luigi's Mansion overlay. Wouldn't that be so cool? For a second, I thought they were selling balloons at Universal, but I think they're just for filming purposes. They're doing some sort of filming here in the park today. As you already know, special effects is closed permanently. They have this up now. We'll definitely be keeping our eye out just to see if there's any like construction that begins, but that's so crazy. Also Production Central is officially closed. So you can no longer shop in this store anymore. Bye-bye, animal actors. This one I'm gonna really miss. I love this show. You will be missed. It looks as though they are still taking down Grinchmas, but that means it doesn't look like the plaza will be decorated for Lunar New Year, which I'm super bummed about because I really loved when they decorated the plaza for Lunar New Year. I wonder if they're just gonna have specialty foods again, maybe some characters and costumes. But kind of sad. Looks like we got two Gabby Cabbies out today. They brought them both out. I just wanted to show her outfit. Now that she's back in her director outfit. Ooh, looking good as always, Hello Kitty. Love you, bye. <laughs> All right, we came into the Hello Kitty store and look, they have some new lounge flies. They have a backpack, a purse, and the wallet. So they also got in this fluffy cupcake lounge fly backpack and this is $90. This one looks super cute. 
And they also got this minion one too. These are looking super nice. They also have a little plush, a little cupcake minion plush, and the little unicorn one as well. All right, looks like Hollywood and Dine is in the process of being transformed for Lunar New Year. So it says to come back. The Noodle House is coming soon, January 19th to February 28th. And of course, they're gonna have like a seasonal Lunar New Year menu. Okay, so here in the Universe store, they did get in some new items. We got a sweater from the movie Megan. It says, Megan is more than a toy. She is part of the family. And they also got in this shirt as well. It's rumored that maybe Megan will be coming to Halloween Horror Nights. But we shall see. But if you want your Megan merch, you can find it here at the Universe store at CityWalk. We have some news here at CityWalk that Twosome's Chocolate Emporium has soft open. It officially opens January 27th, but they did do a soft opening. So let's go take a look at the menu real quick. When you come outside, they do have the menu. Look at those milkshakes. Here they are. Here's an overview of what you could get. What type of milkshakes? But let's see what else they have here at Twosome's. Here they have the brunch. Look how delicious this looks. They got the berries and cream waffles, crepes, apple pie. Ooh, for kids, that is the menu. Ooh, there it is, it's changing. We got a chocolate creme brulee. Oh my goodness, this sounds so delicious. We did eat earlier at Toadstool Cafe, so currently not hungry, but this all sounds so good. All right, here's a look at the appetizers. Oh, a chocolate almond bread. Interesting, sounds so good though. Salads and soups. So they have like a wide variety to choose from, it seems like here. Let's see what the next page will be. Sandwiches and flatbreads, pasta. My goodness, seems like you'll find everything here at Tootsum's Chocolate Emporium. The entrees, hamburgers. This menu seems super endless. All right, I came in real quick. Like I said, I'm not gonna dine, but I wanted to show you what it looks like, look how nice it is. So this is like their shop. So let's go into the shop real quick. Okay, so what I've been told, this is their retail section. And it is super nice. So here you could buy, looks like some merchandise, some desserts, like any dessert you could think of. Chocolates. Look how cool this is. I definitely have to come back. I wanted to try something. Everything looks so nice. Looks like they have fresh desserts. They have a dark chocolate cereal cluster and it looks like it has a gear on there. Look at like this artistry. These are just not like basic chocolates. They look, they're designed so nicely. Right here it looks like they have like a cotton candy section. Oh my goodness. So much stuff. I did not expect this much stuff. So I'm a little surprised. I seen like the food in Florida, but I didn't get like a tour of the actual place. I didn't know like they have like its own merch here. Got some goggles, a pin. My goodness. Here's more of an overview. Everything just looks so like fancy. <laughs> Over here is the register to buy all your candies and goods. All right, here are some prices for reference. Okay, so Twosomes looks amazing. I'm sad I didn't get to try the food. So they have a retail section, and there you can buy chocolates, candy, merch. And then on the other side, they have a milkshake section. So you could sit in there, take it to go. I definitely have to try it. Everything looks so delicious. And in the middle, they had, of course, the restaurant. All right, everyone. So that was our day here at Universal Studios Hollywood. So we spent a majority of our time in Super Nintendo World. We had some fun. And then I walked around and got a few updates. But we will be back next week, of course, just see what else is new. So for now, don't forget to hit that notification bell, hit that subscribe button, because we're gonna have more videos coming soon. Until next time, bye guys.